kind of a big deal video so it's time for a video log about my progress post Arnold's post tricep surgery so my surgery was roughly seven weeks ago actually seven weeks and two days um, so I am progressing very well um, at this point I'm benching you know three 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 hundred plus on the Smith um, you know, probably back at around 350. Um, things are feeling really good. Um, I'm training. Uh, I have had to really modify my training style. Uh, initially, it was machines the first week. Initially, it was unilateral. First week, just machines. Then second week, machines. And I could start doing some movements, lateral raises with my um, arm, uh, my right arm, which had surgery. Um, and then progressively, third week, I started getting stronger, started doing some more bench work. Um, I think I was using a Smith machine by three and a half weeks um, with a considerable amount of weight. It kind of plateaued at that point where machines, I was, I was using the same or very similar weights. Um, and then we went up, I went up, should I say we, the past uh, three or four days um, because the inflammation has really gone down since I've been seeing Dr. Joanna Taylor at uh, Kinetic Edge. I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, the peptides BPC 157 and the uh, TB 500 have worked wonders. The TB 500 I really used initially. I kind of blasted the initial dose based on the protocol. I saw the rest was maintenance, so it's like nothing now, um, you know, for maintenance dose compared to the initial onset when it's really supposed to strengthen um, the uh, tendon and really get it to kind of. Uh, a ease to all the other tissue and just strengthen. Um, again, I don't know much about physiology or muscle uh, um, tendons and ligaments and how they form, but uh, from what I've read, that's what it does and it does a good job of it. So, um, brings me to week seven. Uh, my current training style has changed. I'm still not using dumbbells and I'm still not using flat bench, although I feel that by week 10, I will definitely be doing flat again and I'll probably be near the 315s on flat. Um, I don't want to do anything too crazy. I've heard that it takes about four months to fully form the, um, the tendon. And regardless of what I've been doing to expedite that, I don't want to risk it. Now, so for um, treatments, um, I've been going to see Dr. Joanna T Taylor uh, in uh, Ottawa, Kinetic Edge. I would recommend her treatment, the neurofunctional acupuncture. Um, I've been, here's my tricep by the way, so she'll insert the, um, the acupuncture pins and then she'll uh, add some voltage to it and then my muscle fibers will engage, you know. Um, so that process was a little uncomfortable at first. Uh, I got used to it. I think this will be my fourth or fifth session. It's, uh, guys, it's, it's primo. Um, I mean, my muscles started firing right away after that really well. Um, and the massage, of course, is helping with the uh, adhesion um, or to get rid of some of that inflammation too. So I see Ian Casipel, uh the massage therapist who's pretty famous now uh, for working on Chris Bumstead or famous in the community and the bodybuilding industry. So you'll see him in Chris's videos. Um, and uh, I go to Elysian uh, Wellness Center. Um, Mo, who was a former bodybuilder, opened this uh, Mohammed, uh, or, sorry, Mo, it's probably Mo Ouija. I don't know if it's Mohammed, sorry, Mo. Um, he opened this uh, clinic and uh, they do laser, um, laser therapy. And that's been helpful. So I have little footages of all the treatments I was going to post, but you know, I like Kevin Lavrone style when he did his knee thing. Um, anyways, I, I may have some lingering around, and I might amend it. If not, you know, you guys get the picture from my description. So I would recommend those therapies. Uh, at least the neuro, the neuro uh, functional acupuncture, it works wonders. I was I was a real cynic. Um, but then I heard it would really engage your muscle. And trust me, as soon as you feel the voltage hitting the, um, the muscle tendon, not the muscle tendon, the muscle fibers, and you feel the contraction, you'll know. Like sometimes she'll maybe hit, I'm not sure if it's the fibers engaging, but I can feel it just running, running down my body. Um, whether it's a nerve or anything, I don't know. 
I don't know how acupuncture works. I just know I don't like the feeling. However, I know it's doing something. Once I did dry needling uh, in my glutes, and for some reason uh, it engaged uh, the uh, my my um, uh, hamstring as well as my calf. Uh, so that actually kind of hurt. But anyways, that's another story. Um, I would recommend those treatments. I would recommend the BPC 157 and I would recommend the TB500 out of all the things um, that I've been doing in terms of rehab. In terms of machines, like I said, I've been using the hammer strength machines, plate loaded, started light, started progressing. Um, I've really kept all my mass that way, if not end some. I'm at 250 some odd pounds. I've been using Blackstone's Glycolog with every carb meal. Um, initially, I was just using it for my pre-workout and sometimes in the mornings. Now I've upped it because I'm now that I'm stronger, I'm really trying to regain um, significant size. Because at this point in the game, uh, three three and a half months post show, you know, almost four months, I like to, to be at around 260, 250 ish. Um, so you can see, I'm, you know, fairly impressed. Uh, there was a lot of atrophy. And um, trying to show the best of my abilities. It doesn't look god awful anymore because it did. Um, and the atrophy is just, you know, so much less than it was. Well, I mean, it, the atrophy was, was so prominent that I, could, I, I think I, I, I went down to around 13 and a half, 14. And now I'm back at like almost 18, um, maybe more now. So I don't know because this week. Seems like I've really expedited things uh, with all the carbs I've been eating and the glycolog. Also, maybe a little bit of fat game, but who cares? You know, that's part of the game. Um, so, guys, if you have any questions, uh, leave the questions in the comments uh, comment section below. I'd love to answer anything about tricep rehab because I've really, I think I've really mastered how to work around the injury, the recovery. And really, I was back at work in like four days, guys. I mean, there's no excuse. I mean, that's what I do for a living. I, I get people to go back to work. And, you know, I, I still think there's no excuse to be inactive after little surgeries. Um, and, and there's no excuse to use the, the, use the Percocet or whatever the hell, the Oxycontin or whatever the hell they give you for maybe a day. I mean, that's all you need. I, I've seen it way too often where people just get hooked on these pain meds. And really, you know, the, the cure is... The pump is the cure. No, the gym The gym would really be a better alternative than using pain meds, in my opinion. And you can get in here, get some endorphins out. You don't need to be completely sedentary. Don't listen to your doctor. That's ridiculous. I mean, uh, don't take your cast off either, like I did. But I mean, you know, work within reason. You come to the gym, you do some cardio, very light, and you start walking within the fourth day of recovery it's not gonna kill you. The fourth day, you know, you're stable, you're not on narcotics, hopefully, um, and you know, you can get a little activity in. So that's good for your mental state and it's good for your body. Anyways, kind of big deal videos. Like I said, uh, comment below and please subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Peace. Oh, one last thing before I stop recording. Blackstone Labs, promo code Kind of a big deal 81 i really 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 like the blackstone labs product line i'm not gonna lie um i was a little bit cynical i don't believe in supplements uh i was you know sponsored or given the the the, the legion uh status uh when i went to ohio and i didn't know what to expect but the glycolog is really well put together i really do feel like uh, the food partitioning is very efficient um and the dust Obviously with DMHA, uh, that's a, something I wouldn't want to get hooked on because already today I ran out and my cognitive abilities and my mood are a little different than they were. But read about DMHA, um, it will make you significantly sharper, more focused and happier. Um, I really find that the ingredients kind of boosted my mood and my focus, um, especially my focus because I'm totally ADHD and uh, I could write a report without having to get a coffee and do a million and one things um, and, and uh, you know, get distracted. So, uh, kind of big deal videos, subscribe. Blackstone Labs, kind of big deal 81. Peace.